what is new and who are these podcasts world? Um, if you don't know, if you haven't heard of Carl or listened to one of his episodes, he has a stuttering John segment, uh, and he's come to just always dedicate a portion of his show to the gaffes and the foibles of the, of the famous stuttering John. And that's how we became friends is because I interviewed stuttering John hijinks ensued. Uh, it, no, I'm not gonna say it went viral, but I, I did get a lot of attention from how I, I dealt with him being a total douchebag. Uh, well, not to cut you off. I am still seeing videos being made about your interview with Stuttering John. Did you see the one from Zach Waldman that just came out? No. Hello. Yeah. I'm gonna have to check that out. Wow. <laughs> Zach Waldman. Yeah. On it's YouTube? Like a minute recap of your interview with Stuttering John. So since you brought that up, one of the things that we've been doing lately if you look on our YouTube channel is we're making these Stuttering John deep fake videos. They're like 30 seconds, 60 seconds long. And it's just quick goofing on John in front of a green screen. We make the person who's pretending to be John look a little bit like him, kind of close enough to make it funny. And we just act out little skits. Oh my God. Wait, okay. I'm going to put this on. I'm going to put yeah. this up on the screen here. The scream <laughs> because do you stream yard for your pods, Carl? I don't because we're, we're audio only. I did do oh. one video podcast with Vince, John's former attorney, and uh, Shuli's sidekick. Yeah, there's, that's our... Um, that's well, our I like it. Yeah, if you ever think about going into video, um, I like it. It's made things easier for me. And in fact, I think I'll have a promo code uh, down below if you guys are interested. Okay, so here is your YouTube channel. Yeah. Here is... This is a deep fake. This is not Stuttering John. Right. Which one of these should I play? Um, you know, it's a fun one is, uh, the, the one all the way to the right there behind the scenes. Yeah. It's, it's a quick one. It's quick and fun. So thanks for hanging out. Support us on the Patreon. Oh my God. Subscribe on YouTube and Gugia. And cut. Thank you. Can I please get something else to drink besides course? Oh. I will do just fine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, this is great. This, these are great, Carl. Wow. So they're all just uh, quick clips like that. Um, yeah, if you want to play another one. <laughs> Who is doing these? It's really amazing, you know, the haters and the trolls and the <laughs> idiots. They say I have a cockroach problem. It's funny. I only You're the cockroach, cockroach, Carl. I am. I That's you jumping up and down. You know, what are the chances? Oh, my God. Right, because he had a cockroach problem in one of his apartments. Well, it is only apartment, yeah. Oh, right, oh, right. Not his uh, his condo. Yeah. Ew. It's, it's, uh, oh, oh, actually, the video that, that's showing you to play next, hit that one. That one's fun. That was one that we did in the original batch. Now, are you also so doing the stuttering John part? No, that, he just that's kind pretty of goes on riffs and says whatever comes to mind. And then, you know, it's like later on. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Hold on a second. <laughs> <laughs> that's from the original video. We got to cover the background. <gasps> All right. So this was his original <laughs> guest there. No, nope. I, I was worried you were having one of those Trump mini strokes or something there. Oh, I love it. I love how it fades out at the end there. That's all the original audio from John show when he discovered the cockroach. And then we did that. So since we're bringing this up, I wanted to ask you. So the, the guy who's filming these and does the green screen and the deep fake technology is this guy Circus Midget on Twitter. You might know him. He calls into the Pat Dixon show as Governor Cuomo. Circus Midget, his name is? Yes. And he does a bunch of photoshops and stuff for shows on Compound as well as ours. He's, he's quite prolific, but he happens to live in my neck of the woods. So we connected and we started uh, filming these. What he wants to do is reenact the famous Dabbler uh, interview. He wants to have you on. No. Hey, uh, John. Now, what I thought would be fun. An honor. Uh, like a follow-up interview. We'll come up with some bits around what would be if, if John were to agree to do your show again, how would that go down? Oh, my God. Yeah. First of all, I think he would definitely correct. He would make a correction that no, he was not trying to hit on me. He was not yeah. trying to ask me for drinks. If I were to ever come out to LA, he, he was doing that to be nice. Um, 
Yep. What else would he do? Oh, he, he would also tell you, now, I was saying that everyone's thin-skinned and that people are saying that I was thin-skinned because you called me a dabbler, but I'm not a dabbler. And he just starts getting freaked out again. And, and you, Yeah, I think he would he would try to start up an apology yep. and then he would get so worked up and angry that he would end up saying something even meaner as a result. He'd be like, you know, I, I, I didn't know you were purposely... I thought you were messing with me. I thought, you know... I don't know. I thought I was doing Call Me a Show. <laughs> Turns out you're a different person, and I I didn't mean to make you feel. Hey, anyway, he would just like get carried away, get so mad, and uh... how easy this is to write. I I've I sit down and I write like six or seven of these in in ten minutes because they're just so easy to come up with this shit that John would say, and it's actually shit that he would say, which makes it so funny. Ugh, so let's get God. this set up. I want to do. Yeah, this wanna... sounds great. This sounds. <laughs> okay. Cool. This would be fun. Right. Yeah, and I can rewatch it and I can really relive the moments. Um, and then maybe, yeah, like would he we'd have to play with somehow that he was frozen for most of it. So it's like, would he be frozen again? Or I don't know, or I don't know what he would do. Yeah, that would be funny if we had him frozen, like the actual John, but <laughs> like, even more ridiculous facial expression that he's making. Yeah. <laughs> And then you could be hitting on you the whole time while he's uh, while he's frozen. And then denying that it's that he's hitting on me, but like just, yeah. just saying if you want to, it doesn't have to be drinks. It could be a meal. It could be lunch. <laughs> it could be Wendy's or, or not. You know, whatever. yeah. I could thank you for a fro, yo. You know, I'm doing your show. So at what point I want to know, Carl? Because now um, Stuttering John is suing you, and this has been kind of an ongoing battle. Like at what? At what point did he start suing you? So what happened was I made a throwaway line joke where we were talking about his stint on the Stephanie Miller show. And I said, you know, John actually was fired for being drunk on the Stephanie Miller show. Now, that was a joke, but it was not accurate. He did quit the Stephanie Miller show. So John comes on his show that next week and he goes, I finally got you. You told a lie about me that was both libel and slander. And so I am now, I've talked to my attorney and he said, yep, we can sue you. And I'm going to sue you. He went on for 10 minutes about that. And then oh, a, couple like, days gotcha. later, yeah. a couple of days later, he he went on another rant about suing me again. So I, I'm pretty sure I, I know John's tactics at this point. He thinks he's going to scare me away. And I'm like, oh shit, I can't talk about John anymore. He's going to sue me. I did just the opposite. I brought on his, for, his former attorney to talk. Oh, my God. How did you get it? I went back and I found the original audio from 2019 where he was talking about why he quit the Stephanie Miller show, which makes him look like an incompetent retard. So oh. I played all that stuff again. And I've really just been trying to antagonize him as much as possible. We're doing a bonus show on the Patreon this week on the WATP Patreon that uh, I'm going to be reviewing John's assessment of the New York Post article, the hit piece on Howard Stern, Howard Stern's demise. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to be going through John taking credit for why the Stern show used to be good and now is no longer good. It's all because of stuttering John, apparently. So, so he it, takes all the credit for the rise, but none for the fall. Right. I mean, he's also been out of it a very long time, like 20 years. Time. Yeah. 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 So anyway, I guess my point is that John threatened to sue me he really doesn't have a case because I already walked it back. It's a defamation suit. You mm -hmm. have to prove that there was intent to injure and you have to prove your injuries. So he can't prove either of those things. So it'd be a waste of his time to go through with it. And plus, I don't know a lot of people who threaten lawsuits and then go through with it. Like if you're going to sue someone, just sue me. Just, just, you know, just quietly me. do it. You'll get the papers, yeah. whatever. Okay. Yeah. And then we can take it from there. But this whole thing where it's like, just you wait, check your mailbox tomorrow. Like, okay. I check it every day. <laughs> I'm waiting. He, he even says, he goes, I know where you live. I have your address. Like, great. I checked the mail. So that's good. We got this all figured out now. I'm, I'm waiting for it. I sent you something. I sent you something from Amazon. Check your mail. <laughs> yeah. I checked out your Amazon wish list. Some of the stuff was too expensive. <laughs> you check your mailbox. It's just a letter from him. Like, can we please be friends? <laughs> <laughs> Written in crayon. Okay, good. So you're not worried. I'm not worried at all. I already know an attorney here legally who will take the case on pro bono because it's hilarious. So yeah. Even, oh, that's great. Even if it did cost me money, Chrissy. I'm not worried about it because I know he has no case and that it will get thrown out and it would be so much fun. I had uh, radio Inc magazine 
reach out to me to ask me about this lawsuit. Like, if, if Whoa. You, yes, it, I'm sure it'll make a lot more headlines and be uh, much better for the show. Probably be better for his show, too. But uh, I, I'd be fine with it. I'm actually rooting for it. Wow. So, yeah, it's going to be really it's really good promotion uh, for who are these podcast 